Yes, hi guys. So question number 15th now, but before that up to 14th, what the 14th answer? 14th answer 27 upon 96 it was total answer after adding the areas of two sections. So it could be further resolved 3 9 to 27 and 3 3 ja and 3 2 ja. So 9 upon 32 which is the final answer of question number 14th. This was question number 14 we did. Final answer was this. Now let me take question number 15th. Question number 15th is it says that find the area of the loop. Question 15th is find the area of a loop of the curve x by square plus x plus a whole square into x plus 2a equal to 0. This is equal to 0. Okay, so area of the loop of this curve. So let us discuss about this curve. First, let me describe this curve. Okay, so solution. We are finding out solution of this question. Now, in this case, this this equation, this curve, equation of the curve is symmetric about x is of x, y. This curve is symmetric about first point. This curve is symmetric about symmetric about x x axis y as y is even power as y is even power okay second point <coughs> all right now let me solve it for y if i put y equal to zero putting y equal to zero y equal to zero so we get x plus a whole square into x plus 2a equal to zero from this x equal to minus a and x equal to minus 2a it means the curve will meet the x axis at the point minus a zero minus 2a zero because y is zero so minus a zero minus 2a zero these are the two points at which the curve will meet the x axis okay so let me write here the curve will meet or meets the x will meet the x axis the x axis at minus 2a 0 and minus a and 0 these two points the curve will meet okay now solving it for value of y so solving for value of y for y square we get y square is equal to minus sign x plus a whole square into x plus 2a divided by x okay this is the value of y now what do we see here if x equal to 0 y square is infinity if we take x equal to 0 the curve is symmetric sorry the curve is having s input at x equal to 0 y square is infinity okay is plus plus minus infinity because this is minus sign we will take inside but it's plus minus infinity that means the curve is the curve has sm root sm root at x equal to 0 that means y axis is the sm root that is y axis is an asymptote here is an asymptote of this curve this is x equal to 0 region but if i substitute x equal to more than minus 2 here or less than sorry less than minus 2 here because this is positive always if even if i put x equal to 2a minus 2a minus 3 nothing no problem at all but this value will be okay i mean this positive always but this is negative so when it will be negative 
if I put x minus 2, this minus minus plus, but this will make it negative. X, x less than 0, if I put this negative, and x is here also, less than minus, minus 2, okay, minus 3, etc., and x is positive. Then this by square will be negative. So let me write this for x positive and x less than minus 2. The by value of by square is negative. Value of by square is negative. So the curve will not exist. The curve will not exist. Okay. For less than two values, minus two values. For x less than minus two. Okay, for that curve is not existing. And at x equal to zero, the curve is having asymptote. So beyond minus two and beyond x equal to zero, the curve is not line or will not exist. Okay, so this is now let me draw the curve. What kind of curve is then there? Okay, so what are the shape? What is the shape of the curve? Let me draw that. So that curve, shape of the curve, the two points which we have taken on x axis are minus 2 is 0 and minus a and 0. Asymptote is at x equal to 0, that means y axis. Y axis is an asymptote. Is an asymptote. This is the point to be noted down. Now let me draw the curve here. Or if I take this as this is the x axis, this is y axis, and this is y dash axis, origin O. Okay. Now here it is say minus 2 at 0. And this suppose minus a and 0. And this is 0, 0. So curve is start from this. Curve is start from this. This is a loop here. And this is the asymptote. Or the, this is the asymptote. Y axis is the asymptote here. Okay, so beyond minus 2a. And if I draw a tangent line, this is y x is the tangent line here because y is very equal to 0 that means y equal to 0 y equal to 0 is a two distinct sorry not two distinct but two uh, okay identical or okay two coincident tangents are there two coincident tangent to this point minus 2 a 0 are there so it's a loop this works as a loop this is the area now what area we have to find out? So area of this loop we have to find out. Area of the loop. Yeah. Find the area of the loop. So this is the loop here, which is frame. Let me take this is P and this is Q point, this is M and N point. Dx is the distance. I mean length of this. So this is the area which we have to find out. Let me take the points. This is A. Okay, this is B and this is O. P point we have taken total area of this curve. Let me take here P dash. So the area, total area, let me find out. So total area of the loop. And here x equal to 0 is the asymptote. Y x is the asymptote. Is the asymptote here. This is simple as we have seen here. This by x is the asymptote. Okay. Now the total area of the loop therefore will be twice. And this is total area is this. So let me take the area twice of area A P B. A P or A P B A. A P B A if I make twice of this upper loop then the total area of the loop will be calculated. What is this area? Now here this area can be given as twice. Limits are minus 2a to minus a. Simple. Now this is the loop here. The loop is given by this y square is equal to this y square we calculated minus this is x plus a whole square into x plus 2a 
this is not by x. Okay, that was the value. But if I just find out this with minus sign, this is x plus a value of y, and square root x plus two a divided by under root x. Okay, so this is the value into dx here. Finally, this is the area of the upper loop into twice total loop. Limits are minus two a two minus a. This is obvious minus two a two minus a minus two a two minus a. The area of the loop is to be calculated. This is the solution we have to find out. Okay. Now let us put here putting. Let us substitute something. Putting x plus two a. Let me take t. Okay, so putting x plus 2a equal to t, differentiation will be dx equal to dt with respect to t, differentiating it with respect to t, or with respect to t, we get dx equal to dt, 2a0. Okay, limits, let me find out the limits also. At x equal to minus a, the upper limit, it will give us a only. Will minus a, 2a minus a, a to t equal to a here at minus a, and uh, at uh, x equal to minus 2a. Okay, so t equal to zero because minus 2a plus 2a zero t equal to zero. So the limits are these. Let me take minus sign before this minus 2. Let me take outside, and here it is. Zero to a limits. Now what is x equal to t minus two a? So this x is t minus two a. Okay, so this is t minus two a plus a. It, it means this is t minus a, and under root this is t only. Divided by under root x, x equal to t minus two a. This is x equal to t minus two. Denominator is having x minus two t minus two. Okay, this is dt. All right. Now let us solve it further. It gives us minus two zero to a. Here it is t minus a. Okay. Under root t here. Divided by under root t minus two a. Now, if I substitute, okay, this t can be written as. Let me write it as a dt. Okay, further it can be resolved as zero to a. And if I take minus sign, it will be a minus or t minus a or a minus t no problem. So it can be written as a minus t. If I write a minus t. In minus sign it is plus sign. Inside, if I write here a minus a minus t in the square root of under root t, so this is still plus t, no problem. Into dt here divided by under root, this can be written as t minus a and minus a or a minus. Minus sign. If I take, it can be written as a minus a or plus a minus t. If twice a, it is negative sign. If I take outside, it will be positive in the numerator. Okay. In the denominator, we have a plus a minus t. Okay. So this is one of the points which we have done. A. Or 2a minus t that we took here, but negative sign. Okay, so putting this negative sign out, if I take minus sign in the numerator, okay, so that was the point there. What we did, that was the t minus a whole square. Okay. 
is that is the point t minus 2a in the denominator it was if I write it as 2a minus t then it can be solved so if I write it as 2a minus t negative sign is in the numerator because that will give us the point here actually the problem was and I okay now let us solve it again so what do we here uh, what do we have here okay if I solve it under the square root the whole then it could be solved easily okay so this is a minus t in the numerator and in the denominator we have 2a minus t or I could solve it as let me okay this this we have taken out but if I solve it here as it was under under the square root let me take this square root out and this is square root out this is square here okay so b substitute x plus 2a equal to t that was there this is also okay no problem a minus a minus t if i substitute here a minus t equal to a sin theta that will give us something positive value in the denominator we have a minus 2a so this minus sign can be taken outside then the square root we have taken out a minus t and this is a minus t inside the square root value so this is t minus 2a but i have written down this as 2a minus t and this minus sign i have taken uh, up so this is plus sign here okay now if i substitute a minus t equal to let me take a minus t put in further put in a minus t is equal to a sin theta now let me convert this into theta value so what do we get therefore differentiating it with respect to theta with respect to theta we get we get here minus dt is equal to a cos theta d theta okay that will give us further solution what is that further solution here okay this is minus dt or dt equal to minus a cos theta d theta okay now this value a okay with respect to theta we have done this now limits let me change the limits also what are the limits let me drop this one so if i change the limits sorry that question i wrapped no problem so dt this limits now what's the limits here at to uh, a 0 and a so t equal to 0 so at t equal to let me take a at t equal to a upper limit a minus a 0 so sin theta equal to 0 theta equal to 0 at t equal to 0 t equal to 0 sin theta equal to 1 equal to sin pi by 2 theta equal to pi by 2 so the limits are reversed okay with negative sign this minus sign will also be there so that negative sign will make it positive undoubtedly let me take that so this will give us but because of this minus a cos theta again minus sign has come this minus 2 limits pi by 2 to 0 because it is pi by 2 to pi by 2 theta at lower limit at 0 it was pi by 2 and at a upper limit it was this okay so t minus a we took a minus t from a minus t here 
and we saw that minus sin beta outside. So a minus t, this is a sin theta. So a minus t we have taken a sin theta and inside the square root it is a minus a sin theta divided by this is a plus a sin theta and a minus this value we have taken into a cos theta d theta okay so this bit this minus sign we can reverse the limits okay the minus sign if you there then this can be changed i mean can be reversed so limits can be reversed what is the further value let me solve it further it will be twice limits 0 to pi by 2 let me take and here a and this a it is a square sine theta from inside under root a will come out and this under root a will come out in the denominator also that will be cancelled out it will be only 1 minus sine theta divided by 1 plus sine theta into this is cos theta only now left over because a we have taken a square so this is twice a square 0 to pi by 2 and this is sine theta now let me rationalize this after rationalizing multiplying by under root 1 minus sine theta and the numerator and denominator because the denominator is to be rationalized so it will be let me write 1 minus sine theta under root 1 minus sine theta divided by denominator 1 plus sine theta into under root 1 minus sine theta so multiplying by under root 1 minus sine theta in the numerator and denominator so rationalizing this so we get finally so this let me turn up now because answer we have to find out so therefore this is twice a square limits 0 to pi by 2 <coughs> because of minus sign we have reversed the limits okay so this is sine theta then in bracket it will be 1 minus sine theta by square root 1 minus sine theta whole square that means the square root is cancelled out the denominator we are having under root 1 minus sine square theta and this is cos theta d theta this is cos square theta and the denominator under the square root that cos theta and this cos theta cancel out this is twice a square 0 to pi by 2 sine theta minus sine square theta into d theta this is the final value to integrate now let me integrate them and what is the final answer let me check it so final answer of this question will be okay so that will be final answer what is that let me integrate this this is twice a square 0 to pi by 2 now this is sine sine theta integrated as it is 1 minus sorry minus cos theta now here limits 0 to pi by 2 no problem but this is sine square theta so we can write it as 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2 now integration 0 to pi by 2 this are separated into d theta okay and this is to be finally solved twice a square at pi by 2 it is 0 but at 0 it is 1 so it is plus 1 minus minus plus here minus sign this is 1.2 1.2 into theta integration 1.2 into theta integration and this is minus sign so cos theta cos 2 theta is sine 2 theta upon 2 that means 4 2 is already there okay this is now limits 0 to pi by 2 so okay let me take this as this is curly bracket here curly bracket okay now this is twice a square 1 theta in place of theta we have to put pi by 2 so it will be pi by 4 
Because pi by 2 into pi by 2, that is pi by 4, minus sign. What about this value? Now this is pi by 2, at pi by 2, sine 2 theta 2 into pi by 2 means sine pi 0. At 0, it is 0. So both cases, it is 0. This is the final answer. So this is equal to twice a square 1 minus pi by 4. We multiply inside, this is twice a square minus pi a square upon 2 is the final answer. Question number 15 to be have done. This is the area of the loop. Okay, that loop. Find the area of the loop. So this is area of the loop here. Find the area of the loop of the curve. Okay. Okay, so this is the final answer. Now let me take 16th question. What does question 16 say? Let me check. 16th question is of what kind? Let me check it. Question number 16th now. Okay, this is question 16. It says find the area of the portion bounded by the curve. This and it's asymptote. Okay, find area of the area of its loop also. So there are two parts here. First is area of the curve and its asymptote between its asymptote and the curve. One thing. Secondly, find the area of its loop also. It says. Okay, so let me check 16th question. It says the curve is here x into x square plus y square is equal to this is a into a into x square minus y square okay this is a into x square minus y square and its asymptote we have to find out the area between included by this curve and its asymptote and its asymptote that we will find out what is its asymptote area between area bounded by this curve and its asymptote first thing this is the first question second says find the area of its loop also find area of its loop also this is the second part of this question 16 okay way into and it's asymptote find the area of its loop also okay so find the area of the portion bounded by the curve this and its asymptote so let me first describe the curve what kind of this curve is let me describe first now this curve is symmetric about y axis why because y is even power so x axis it will be symmetric the curve will be symmetric the curve will or curve will be symmetric or is symmetric will be symmetric about x axis region y square y square y is even power here x is not even power because x into x square is x cube as y is even power as y is even power because of that the curve is symmetric about x axis second point this is the first point second point there is no independent term constant independent term the curve will pass through the origin the curve will pass through the origin through the origin but there is no independent term here if I equate the coefficient of a smallest degree term so third one equating a smallest degree term to zero we get f square minus y square equal to zero or y is equal to plus minus x it means the two tangents here that means there is a loop 
and by equal to x by equal to minus x. There are two tangent possible, two distinct tangents are there. Okay, so the curve is of okay two distinct tangents because x by equal to plus x by equal to minus x. It is the shape of the curve is just like a node. Okay, just like a node. Loop is also there. So the curve is just like a node. So the point is that where it meets the x-axis, then let us talk about. If I put y equal to zero, so x q equal to a x, a x square, x equal to a x square, so x equal to a. But the point at which the curve meets the x-axis, let us check that. Okay, let us check that. The so curve will meet the x-axis. By putting y equal to zero, first point is putting y equal to zero in first is the first equation. So we get the curve will be here. This by zero, by zero, so x q is equal to a x square implies that x square common. This is x minus a. Equal to zero, so x equal to zero and x equal to a. At a zero and zero zero, the curve is passing through the origin, origin, and its loop is at okay, and its vertex is at a zero. So curve is at a zero. Now let me solve for y. Solving this equation for y. Solving or shifting the origin to a zero. If I shift, let me shift the origin to a zero. Okay, so that will be a zero means x plus a, x plus a whole square. Or let me solve it for y square. Solving it for y square. So we get this is x into y square. Okay, equal to equal to a into minus y square. That means plus y square. It will be plus a y square. It means we have to take y square common equal to zero or y square common. If I take, it will be x plus a equal to zero.